Hello YouTube, my name is Trey, welcome to Work on a Change. Today we're going to be talking about Bud Light, but before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this, if you don't, cool. Um, here's my donation if you want to donate here. We uh, use all the money to go right back into the production uh, of all these videos, so thank you for that. And let's go ahead and get right on in to Bud Light. Alright, Anheuser-Busch are now being forced to sell off several beer brands. The collapse has just ratcheted up. Anheuser-Busch NF InBev, AB InBev, parentheses, open, close, will be selling eight craft brands to Telray. According to Monday announcement from the anti-American beer giant. Okay, this is obviously biased. I'm just kidding. I read it earlier. The the move will cut a AB and InBev's uh, craft beer polio portfolio significantly. Telray, a Canadian cannabis company, hmm, will be purchasing Shock Top. Bacon Ridge Brewery, Blue Point Brewing Company, Ten Barrel Brewing Company, Red Hook Brewing, Widmere Brothers Brew Brewing, I'm not going to say too many of this, Square Mile Cinder Company, and Highball Energy. The deal is expected to be finalized in September 2023 for $85 million, according to Tilray AK Filing. In addition to the beer brands, Anheuser Bush will also be selling off the brands, employees, breweries, and associated brew. Pub. So these people who who are getting sold off, at least they still gonna have a job. So they're not like just gonna be out of a job. Well, we'll see how it goes. Well, we hit a new low, ladies and gentlemen. Ever since the Dylan Mulvaney disaster, we've seen Anheuser Busch and their brands, in particular Bud Light and Budweiser, utterly collapse. And over time, things have only gotten worse. Well, this is another one of those times as A B is actually being forced to sell their beer brands. God, I find that hilarious. And the fact that they're selling these brands to a cannabis company. So this is an article being written by an individual who's against whatever Bud Light did. But I'm glad they go ahead and gave us a little bit of information on what's going on. So, Bud Light. <laughs> Listen, I never want to see a company go down like this. You know, they made a mistake and it sucks that they have to go out like this. But this is one of those things, you know, telling you that, you know, once again, guys, we're just seeing a big turnaround. A lot of these people thought that they could just do whatever. And we know that well, who's behind all this. It wasn't just Bud Light himself. It was Vanguard and, you know, the what are the, the Black Zone, whatever they're called. Um, so, and they got this little thing where they try to push this agenda, this political agenda. So they try to go towards the trans people. They try to go towards the LGB, blah, 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 blah. You know? And so here we are. Uh, Budweiser... Uh, Budweiser, Bud Light was the first one to see those dominoes fall, fall bad. And I'm glad for once that we actually are standing up to something, you know. Like I said, America's got us, it's got its issues. But the one thing I, I, you got to love about this place is that there is freedom, you know. There is freedom. And people are starting to make better choices, you know. They're just starting to say, I don't want to be bullied. I don't want to do this. Uh, I don't want to just be a part of all that. So I'm so glad to see it happening. I'm just glad to see it all going forward. My question is to you guys. At this point, there's going to happen again. If you don't think it's going to happen again, Dylan Mulvaney is completely falling off. I don't know what's going on with the, uh, that individual's life. But do you think there will come a time where this will happen again? And if it does, do you think a company is really going to take a chance on this? Or you think they're like, oh, screw it. There's no more money in it. And my question is, I, I had a big question. What money was it? Was there in it to begin with? Like to go for such a small part of the population and say, we're going to put all our money into that to be inclusive and think that you're going to make money off that because you're going to get what? Maybe five more percent. I get money as money at the end of the day. But here's the problem. It was one thing to be inclusive and be like this. And I, I'm just to the point where it's kind of annoying that there, it seems like there's always this gap. There's the LGBTQ, blah, 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 and everybody else. It's like we're two separate groups. It's like we're, we're two different sets of people living in the same country. And I just don't like that. I don't see the LGBTQ as a, I see the group, like the people who run it at the very top of it, the people behind the scenes that we don't know. I see them as a cult, but the people who want to claim it, these normal people out here who go to the normal nine to fives and live the normal life. I don't consider them like separate. I see them as human beings who got brainwashed into this cult. Like, it's not like I see somebody who wears a flag and I'm like, oh, we're different. No, I, I don't think that. I just think that that flag and everything that comes with it and the people behind the scenes trying to get us to... Uh, pretty much bow down. Those are the people I have a problem with. Those are the that's that's the cult uh, ideology that I have a problem with. And 
I just think that if they keep trying, if they try this again a couple years from now, because they will, um, they'll try to sneak their way back in. Um, I just don't see a company going for it. In fact, I'm going to say something, and I may be entirely wrong about this, but I don't see the uh, Alphabet crew being together in a few years. I don't. I don't. I think they're going to go back to what they used to be, because back then, um, it was just a group that if you wanted to associate with them, just like you would with any other group in the world, it'd be normal. Now it seems like it, they're such a powerhouse. I think they're going to go back to being a regular group. There'll be people who say they're part of it. People like, Oh, that's cool. And that's it. It won't be, I'm part of this. And you're like, uh, untouchable. You can't, you can't do whatever you want to. And speaking of that, please, please catch my next video because we're going to talk about the same thing that we saw was happening with uh, BLM and the blacks and kind of how they were getting out of hand. And um, there are going to be repercussions. I think we are starting to see a society who's saying, look, we're not going to sit here divided every single day. But maybe I'm wrong about that. Let me know what you know. In the, uh, let me know. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Hope you all have a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Bye.